Hello guys, my name is Joe M. Kanya. I'm a CEO and founder at JT Day. For today's video, we're going to see how we're going to make use of save in Parfum. So let's define a part, uh, <laughs> let's define a set. It's a collection of distinct objects. A uh, set by the software is a mutable uh, data type. Uh, we can perform the following operations such as union, intersection, and more. So we're going to have a look at uh, union uh, once we get to set method. But first, let's create a set. There's two ways that we can create a set uh, uh, by using either a curly bracket or a set function. And then another thing about set it does not uh, return any duplicate. Even though you have duplicate on your collection, and then those duplicates will not will not going to be returned at the end of the day. By the end of the day, so once you go to display or uh, now we're going to run our program right now. Let's see if uh, we write again. Okay. So it remove or duplicate retain only three elements. Let's see how we're going to make use of the set function. By using a set function is also another way of converting any collection or data structure to a set. First of all, we're going to create a list of numbers. And then let's create a set using a set function. So what we did also, we convert the nature of a list of numbers into another nature. So remember when we define a data type, we say data type is a nature of a thing. Okay, of an object. So a thing is an object in this case. So let's print out uh, both data structure. First, we're going to print out uh, the list and then set will do that later on. So now we're printing out uh, set. So let's see what is the outcome. On the list, we see that we can find duplicates, and then on the set, there is no duplicate. Right. So let's see how we're going to make use of our set method. I'm going to start with union. Then we say data dot union uh, union and then we pass S one as an argument. So what is a union? So union it's going to in dot in set it's going to allow us to return both um uh, both sets okay so even though uh, we have another another type of uh, data structure let's say we have a list in here then we say maybe this will be maybe 33 32 and 35 it's still going to work it's still going to but before you have to return a set a new set it has to convert this list to a set. 
then after that it will return the result of this will be a set okay let's find that Okay. And then apart from union, we have uh, intersection. So what is the intersection? Intersection, if you see uh, uh, to uh, just imagine that we have two circles that join together, and then the value, the common value between those two circles, that would be our intersection. So the common element between data and uh, S1, those value will be returned. Let's find that. There we say data dot intersection and then we just pause this one in there. so the common element between those two set is nine and seven so i want to see the last uh, method that i want to show you i believe it's called this trend Say that uh, there's a there's an other method that you can have a look uh, for a set, then practice on it. I just want to show you the some few method, and then the last uh, another thing that I want to add, I uh, want to include is you can be able to add element into a set using a method, or you can remove using pop. Okay, so let's see that this this trends. I uh, believe there is this range. Uh, no, I think it's different. Huh? Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it will return to if uh, both uh, both set has no common elements so in this case it will return um oh, let's see return to okay in this case it will return false because uh, we do have a common element between those two sets yeah so let's say uh, this one is not this one is is this one So any method that you see that it has uh, is as a prefix, just remember that it's going to return a boolean. Either it's true or false. So in this case, it will return false. Yeah, because we do have a common element between those two. For the rest of the method, I'll leave it to you as your exercise. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to work on the set operator. And then on the set operator, both operands must must have must have must have the same uh, data the type. So what do I mean by that? Both of them must be a set. We cannot have a set and a list. So let's have a look if we have that. So uh, the union operator for um, is I believe is pop. Uh, P I P E. Uh, so this one will be S I. Uh, what am I saying? S one. <laughs> so it look like I have. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay.
Uh, with this, uh, we're going to get an error because both operand do not share the same data term. Bingo. Okay. So that's the difference between operator and method. On the method, it's going to allow you to use a different data structure. Uh, but on the operator, when you're using operator, both operands must have the same data type. All right. Oh, both data structure must be, uh, must be not a set or six. Okay. Thank you guys. Uh, please share, like, uh, and subscribe. Okay, okay, bye.